going to be here tonight? Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, before I sing, I'm going to sing. Uh, <clears throat> listen to the Brother Marlo's message today. It, it inspired me, Brother Marlo. You know, I, I leaned up to Sister Beverly here, and I said, you know what? That woman was persistent with Jesus yes. because she had had enough. She had enough. And I leaned up and I told her yeah. she wasn't taking no for an answer because she had had enough of her situation. Yeah. You know, how many times do we as Christians and as, as believers, right. we need to come to a point in our life to where the situation that we're living in, you just absolutely have had enough of it. Yeah. And you can sit there and live in misery if you choose to. You can sit there and live in unhappiness if you choose to. Or you can look at the master and say, I'm not taking no for an answer. I have had enough of my situation. I have had enough of the condition that I'm in. I have had enough of being miserable. I have had enough of being unhappy. I have had enough of being sick. I have had enough of having a bad spirit. I have had enough of it. And I am not going to take it anymore until you heal me. Until you you know, I want to be that one that wrestles with the angel and says, I'm not leaving here tonight in the same condition that I came in. It doesn't matter who it offends or who it doesn't offend. I'm going to stay here and wrestle with you all night long until you bless me. Until you give me the healing that I need. Until you give me the freedom that I need. I'm talking to you. You just got to be sick of it. You have got to come to a point in your life as a church, as an individual, as a minister, as a saint. You have got to be tired of the situation that you're in. And you have to know where your healing is going to come from. It's not going to come from a pill bottle. It's not going to come from a bank. It's not going to come from your sorrows. It's going to come by finding the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and Jesus Christ himself. And looking at him. When he walked up in front of that giant, 
He said, I can't beat you on my own. But for these people that are behind me, they have had enough. And we have had enough. And we are not going to stand here one more second and tolerate you. He fired the armies of the living God. Amen, brother. I wasn't there on the desert that day, Brother Rhodes. But I'm telling you, that little boy had had enough. Maybe I'll sing in a minute, but maybe I'll follow the Holy Ghost. There comes to a point in time to where it makes no difference where you stand. It makes no difference how big or small or how tall or how great or how much money or what you got in your pocket. It makes no difference to God. He doesn't need you. Amen. We've said it many times before, and, and I believe it. God doesn't call the qualified. You know, he called 12 miserable men back in the day. But when he called them, he qualified them. He qualified them. He qualified them. God doesn't need you. He just needs you to be available. That's all. He just needs you to be available. He just needs you to be available. Hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Marlowe, for preaching that message today. You, you know, you, it doesn't come a point to where it doesn't have to be a house-burning message. But I tell you what, I come to a point where I sat there and I listened today and I leaned up to Sister Beverly. And I said, you know, this woman had enough. She, yes. she wasn't even taking Jesus an answer. Yes. Amen. Amen, brother. Oh, Man, she didn't even like Jesus' first answer. Amen. That's, that's faith. You know, that's faith. That is faith. She looked at she looked at the very king of kings and said, I don't like your answer. I don't like your answer. Hallelujah. She needed a second opinion. And she went back and got a second opinion. And he said, wait a minute, this woman is serious. This woman is serious. And he took care of the situation. You know, come before the throne boldly. That's what the scripture tells us to do, doesn't it? The scripture tells us to come boldly before the throne of God. Come boldly before the throne of God. I was working in town one afternoon. 